welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Lauren here on Little House Plants, and today we are doing something so exciting. Um, I love weekend projects, and that's what today is. <laughs> so we are actually going to be painting this wall in my plant room. You can see I've already started just a little bit, but we are going to be painting this wall green. Um, the exact color is called Jojo Jojoba from Bear. This is what it looks like, if you can see that. Don't focus on my face. Yeah, focus on that. <laughs> so, I've already started, I bought samples. Um, you can't see it, but over here I, I picked some other colors out. I'll show you what our other options were. Okay, I can't find them. But I was choosing between this pink and this green. So I've got these samples too. Um, but I decided in the end, I really liked the color of the Jojoba. Um, it's by Bear, just got it at Home Depot. Um, I did end up buying a whole gallon of paint for this one wall. You guys, it's this whole story. It's in my defense, I was very hungry when I made the purchase. So not in the best state of mind. But this kind that they give you for the sample is like their highest quality of paint. And I went in thinking that I had to have the same, you know, type of paint to match the sample because I've already started painting. But in the end, I now realize it wouldn't have mattered. But of course, that was after I bought the non-refundable $60 gallon of paint. Um, but it's okay because I'm going to paint this wall and I might find somewhere else in my house to paint it. I was thinking it'd be fun to do like a two-toned wall throughout my living room or something fun like that just because we've got to use all this paint now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We'll probably time-lapse through all of this. I'm not a painting expert, but we will fast forward through all of the painting process just so you get a glimpse of how it went. And then when we're done, when everything's painted, so probably around tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be rearranging how my plant room was and then restyling it. So I'm super excited. Um, this change will be amazing. Um, I took a couple videos of how the room looked before so you can get a good before and after. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. To start, I'm just going around the edges first um, with this little paintbrush. So I'm just gonna do the edges before I do anything else. I did put down, as you can see, some fabric to protect the carpet. Our carpet in here is super old, so I really don't care about it, but I don't want to destroy it. <laughs> um, and then I did tape the walls. Um, my mother-in-law and her mom have like amazing painting skills and can do that all with like by hand and without tape. I, on the other hand, do not have a steady hand. So, <laughs> that was a dumb pun. Uh, <laughs> so I need the tape. So that's, I'm going to finish taping this corner over here and then paint up that wall. So that's where we'll start. So I did forget to mention that to prep, not only did I lay out the fabric and to tape and all that stuff, but I sanded the wall with some light sandpaper. Um, I think it was like 220 grit, um, something super just light. So I sanded down the wall um, and then I wiped it down with a microfiber cloth that was a little bit damp and then I let it dry overnight. Um, to start, I am just doing the edges. I'll do one coat on the edges, and then I'll do one coat on the entire wall, and then we'll do a second coat starting again with the edges, and then the second coat everywhere else. So this way, it'll help those edges be nice and clean, hopefully. <laughs> again, I'm no professional painter, so this is just what my mother-in-law <laughs> taught me. I hope it works. Um, to do the edges, I always do a good couple inches, like I do the line right up against, you know, the actual edge, and then do three or four inches away from that. You can see right down there, I got a little paint happy and did like 
10 inches, but just you'll want to make like a thick section of paint so that your roller doesn't have to get right up next to that to that edge because that's when you get wall you or you get paint like on the other wall rather than you know protecting the other wall rollers are just not good for edges so that's my little tip for me for you <laughs> from my mother-in-law so yeah <laughs> The first coat! It's done! Don't worry, there's another coat on its way. Um, I love it so far. I'll definitely have to redo the edges though. Those are drying a little funny. Up over here some of the tape is falling down. The ceiling is speckled, spackled. Um, so I'm not surprised that the tape's not sticking. But it looks great so far. Um, I did decide to paint the window ledge green just so it would look, kind of hide it. Um, I feel like that was a bit of a mistake. It was a little hard to paint and I got paint on the actual window itself a couple of times. So I'll have to clean that up somehow, but we'll see. Okay. So I will be back either probably later tonight um, to finish painting this. Um, my husband's out of town, so I'll probably paint until he gets back tonight. So will be pretty late so hopefully tomorrow morning it'll be all done and just a quick fun project <laughs> hello it's me again same day like two minutes later my little sister actually decided she wants to clean my kitchen um she's in a cleaning mood and so i'm just gonna let her <laughs> she's awesome so what i'm gonna do now is i just look at the edges and they're kind of bothering me um, so I have this little roller, I actually bought it to paint our cabinets with, and I'm going to use it to paint the edges. Um, hopefully I can just kind of smooth them out a little bit. Not the like actual edge edge, but just close by it. I'm back. It is much later in the evening. It's been a couple hours. Um, I think I ended last time around three. It's now seven, so it's been four hours. And the wall has dried. Um, I love the color that it's dried out to be. Um, and now it's just time for me to put on the second coat. Um, the edges still look a little funny, so hopefully I can get that sorted out. I found this cute thing. Look how fun this is at Ross. Um, it was $30, um, but it's super cute, and I obviously thought a bunch of cute plants would look amazing on it. So that is my current plan. Um, maybe I can hang it up on the wall, or it has little, little feet so it can stand on something as well. I don't know. We will see. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get started on painting. Hopefully I can have this finished. Um, by tonight so that I can put this room back together tomorrow and spend tomorrow redecorating and reorganizing it. So let's go ahead and get started. Today is day two and it is all dry. I'm loving this color. Um, I can't wait to get my room all set up. Um, so that's what we're gonna do next. Um, first, I do need to clean up. I do have Finn in here, so if you hear me randomly, get after him. Just 
just always being a troublemaker. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to remove all of the tape and then we'll clean up the little paint, the drop cloth that's down. And um, I am thinking of painting my bathroom this color. So not all of it. I was gonna do like a two-toned wall on one of the walls in the bathroom with this green because I really like it. So <laughs> I just am moving the project to the bathroom now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up. Um, and then when I'm done cleaning up, we're going to be styling this plant room. I'm a little bit nervous about styling it. Truthfully, I'm not a pro designer or decorator or anything like that. Um, I just do what I like, what the, I think looks good for me and a good placement for my plants as well. So I will probably change things up in like two months from now, I will rearrange this room again um, until I find something that I truly love and then I'll stick with it. It's just a lot of trial and error, lots of rearranging. So if you guys want to see more of that, if you want to see next time I rearrange this room, um, go ahead and mention that in the comments down below. I'd love to make that video for you guys. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get started, I guess. So just really quick, I did not realize this yesterday. So I bought a little sample. Um, you guys saw me paint with it, it's the little white tub. Um, I painted the edges with it and then also the window. Um, I painted the windowsill with it. But I didn't realize that it wasn't mixed all the way. So it was a much lighter color than the actual can of paint which had been mixed that morning. So <laughs> I went around and I looked at my edges um, and I showed a couple snippets of it, how weird the edges looked. And that's because the paint that I used to do the edges from the sample wasn't mixed all the way. And there are still a few spots um, up along the ceiling where I didn't, I tried to go back over with paint from the can to fix that and cover that up. Um, but I missed a few spots, so I will have to go back in and touch that up. Um, but I think I'll do that a little bit later, just because I just want to get cleaned up and put, get my plants back out. So I don't think it's super noticeable. It's probably a touch up that I'll do. Never. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But I'm so bummed that it happened last night. I actually got really frustrated because I had to redo all the edges for the third time, and those stress me out. wasn't uh can get down it's okay I'm gonna rearrange things <laughs> I really just have things back to the way they were before I painted um, painted the wall the room so now I'm just gonna rearrange things a little bit <laughs> hopefully it'll go well um, I do have this crazy dog who's making messes everywhere he goes Again, everything's pretty much where it was before, but maybe I'll rearrange things a little bit. Like I think I'm gonna put my Monstera, I'm gonna switch my Monstera with these um, Hoyas and the Maranta, just cause I think it'll look nicer. Okay, so in styling a shelf, I usually like to start with my bigger pieces or the ones that I know I want to have trailing down because obviously the trailing ones need to go in a spot where they can trail. This guy I'm gonna put up here. Like this, I actually am gonna trade spots. Put that right there. Got my little string of bananas. It's also gonna go up there. And this guy can sit a little bit further back. Hmm, I want one more on there, but I don't know which plant to put. You know, we'll call it okay for now. We'll call it good. Yes, my monster is gonna come and cover it. 
don't know where I'm gonna put my mom syrup. I'm gonna find a new spot for her. Um, cause I actually wanna bring my fiddle leaf fig in here, so. I'm gonna find a new home for my mom syrup. We're gonna bring my fiddle leaf fig in. Okay. Then I figured out an easier solution for the monster. It just doesn't need to be sitting on a chair. It can just go right there on the floor. Maybe I'll find something to prop it up a little bit, but I think that's good. I'll figure something out. I think it looks fine for now. Um, this wall gets really good lighting um, from the window behind us, so it'll look really nice. And then we'll get some good light. Especially in the afternoon, they'll get some direct sun. So, okay, we will show you guys a quick overview of the whole room. And I still have to put the rug down and do some small finishing touches. Um, and then I have some small finishing touches I've got to do. Um, but other than that, it is all done. Um, so, come in, so there will be a quick preview. Um, so, yeah. Um, but thank you guys all so much for watching this long process to remake my plant room. I'm in love with the green wall. Um, I think it's super fun and it just adds to the jungle vibe that is my plant room. <laughs> I'm so very lucky and I feel so blessed to have a husband who is willing to come in and help me, um, especially with, the, with putting things up on the wall. I've never been good at that, like ever. So I'm very grateful for him. <laughs> Um, but I hope you all have a great day, and if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you guys have a plant room or you're remaking a space, leave a comment down below. I'd love to chat with you guys about it, just because it's, you know, you get started, you're super excited, and then you get halfway through and you're like, I just want to be done. I'm just tired. <laughs> so, definitely hit that wall, but hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next time in two weeks. Bye!